سلام مهدی نوری هستم و توی این ویدیو با هم میخوایم بریم سراغ قسمت سوم و قسمت آخر از درس دهم ده کتاب American Headway سطح دوم. We want to start with listening and speaking. Modern life drives me crazy. این اصطلاح drives me crazy خیلی اصطلاح جالبیه. Drives me crazy it means makes me really annoyed and angry. یعنی اصلا منو دیوونه میکنه. منو میریزه به هم. Modern life drives me crazy. زندگی مدرن منو دیوونه میکنه. What things annoy you in a typical day? Typical day means a normal day. یعنی توی یه روز عادی چه چیزایی شما رو آزار میدن؟ Look at the photos of Jack. What do you think is annoying him? به این اکسای جک نگاه کنید. فکر میکنین چه چیزی داره آزارش میده. For example, in the first picture, where is he? توی تصویر اول کجاست؟ Yes, he is on the train. But what is annoying him? سوار قطاره. اما خب چی داره آزارش میده؟ Alan is meeting Jack at the train station. Jack has not had a good trip. جک سفر خوبی نداشته و الان داره دوستش آلن رو توی ایستگاه قطار ملاقات میکنه. Listen and check what he complains about. Complain یعنی شکایت کردن. گوش بدیم و چیزایی که جک در موردشون شکایت میکنه تیک بزنید. The train is late. قطار دیر اومده. The girl behind him. دختری که پشت سرش نشسته بوده. The train is overcrowded. قطار خیلی شلوغه. The little boy. پسر کوچیکه. Parking. محل پارک و پارک کردن ماشین بوکینگ تیکت بوک کردن یه تیکت اینجا یعنی رزرو کردن The food غذا ترافیک ترافیک و کافی شاپس Let's listen Track 27 Jack's stressful day Hi Jack Over here How was your trip? Huh, not good Not good at all Why was that? Well, there was this girl in the seat behind me, and she was talking loudly on her cell phone the whole trip. I know everything about her life. I even know what she's going to wear when she goes out on Saturday night, and I know what she's not going to wear. <laughs> that drives me crazy, too. You know, not long ago, trains had quiet cars where you couldn't use your cell phone. Well, they don't anymore. I couldn't read my paper with her yak, yak, yakking behind me. She told the same thing to at least four friends. Then I had this kid across from me with his mother. He... What was he doing to annoy you? He had one of these game things with a pen. A Nintendo 3DS? Yeah, one of those. And he had his head down playing games all the time. Zing, ping, bang. All these noises coming from it. He never looked up once. When his mother asked him to say hello, he just grunted, uh, so impolite. I know, kids these days, they're so badly behaved. Did you book your ticket online this time? I tried to. What happened? Well, I followed the instructions one by one, and when I got to the end, it asked for my password. Password? I didn't know I had one for train travel, so I thought, okay, I'll call instead. Maybe not the best idea. Uh, no. So I called the train company, and of course I got the usual recorded message. You know, the usual kind of thing. All our operators are busy right now. Then music, and thank you for holding. Our operators are still busy. And more music, so I gave up. I bought a ticket at the train station. It drives you crazy, doesn't it? Life's too short to spend so long on the phone. Still, I usually do enjoy traveling by train. Me too, usually. It's better than driving. I hate driving into the city these days. There's too much traffic. It's just traffic jam after traffic jam. And it's impossible to find a parking space. Parking's a nightmare. And parking lots and parking meters are so expensive. I know. I remember when you could park all day for $10. Come on, let's get out of here. Let's get coffee. Okay, but not Starbucks. I can't stand Starbucks. Why? I like the coffee. It's the size of the cups. They're all huge. Even the small one is too big for me. And the biggest is so big, it's enormous. And there are too many choices. 
latte, skinny latte, soy latte, cappuccino, frappuccino, single shot, double shot. Okay, okay, modern life. There's a small coffee shop around the corner. Let's go there. Now here are the answers. These things annoyed Jack. The girl behind him. The little boy. Booking a ticket. Parking. And coffee shops. این هم مت و ترانسکریپت لیسنینگ هستش که ما داشتیم. اگه بخواین میتونین لیسنینگ رو یه بار دیگه گوش بدین و از روی متنش اونو دنبال کنید. That drives me crazy. گفتیم پس میشه it annoys me. یعنی منو عذیت میکنه. منو دیوونم میکنه. Quiet cars. Car اینجا به معنی واگن قطاره. میگه you know not long ago trains had quiet cars. همین چند وقت پیش بود که واگنهای قطارا خلوت و ساکت بودن. At least, minimum, حد اقل. He just grunted. Grunt کردن یه همچین صدای در وردنه. Impolite. Opposite of polite, یعنی بی ادب. مخالف polite, یعنی با ادب. Book your ticket. رزرو کردن بیلیتتون. All our operators are busy right now. وقتی تماس تلفنی میگیرین که قرار با اپراتور صحبت کنین، اگه این پیامو بشنوید یعنی همه اپراتورا الان مشغولن. Thank you for holding. متشکرم که نگه داشتین. و دوباره اون پیام که all our operators are still busy. هنوزم هم همه مشغولن. Give up. گذشتش میشه gave up یعنی دست از کاری کشیدن. صرف نظر کردن. Traffic jam, یعنی ترافیک بیش از حد و زیاد. Parking's a nightmare. Nightmare یعنی کابوس. پارک کردن کابوسه. Enormous. Very, very big. خیلی خیلی بزرگ. What do you think? What do different generations complain about? Generation یعنی نسل. نسل های مختلف درباره چه چیزایی شکایت میکنند. Think of typical complaints for these people. دقت کنید که complain خودش فعله. Complaint نونش به معنی شکایته. حالا بگین که معمولا راجع به این موضوعی که اینجا داده شده چه شکایت هایی میشه؟ میتونیم برامون کامنتش کنین. Everyday English on the phone. بریم یکی از مکالمات تلفنی با هم صحبت کنیم. Listen and practice saying these telephone numbers. Track 28 on the phone. 919 1-800-451-7559. 5-6. دقت کنید که شماره تلفن‌ها رو حتما تک به تک می‌خونیم رقم به رقم اصلا مثل چیزی که ما تو فارسی داریم میگیم 919 677 اصلا نداریم 919677 به جای 0 معمولا او گفته میشه اما اگه 0 بگین اشتباه نیست وقتی عددی دو بار تکرار شده باشه میتونین دابل سه بار شده باشه از تریپل استفاده کنید مثلا تریپل 5 یعنی سه تا پنج پشت هم و عددی مثل عدد 800 رو همون 800 میخونه now listen and write the numbers. Track 29. 847-432-5655 415-440-2770 1-800-698-5555 Six 
In your country, what are the telephone numbers for your house, your cell phone, emergency services and directory assistance? این شماره تلفن ها تو کشور شما چیان؟ اصلا شما این شماره ها رو حفظین؟ How many phone numbers do you know by heart? By heart یعنی حفظ بودن. چند تا شماره تلفن رو حفظین؟ Whose are they؟ شماره تلفن کیان؟ Listen to four phone conversations. Answer these questions after each one. چهار تا مکالمه تلفنی رو گوش بدین و این سوال رو برای هر کدوم جواب بدین. Track 30 1 Brian and Adam. Sorry, Brian, you're breaking up. I couldn't hear that. I know, Adam. It's not a good connection. But listen, I'm calling because I can't make it on Thursday. Are you free on Friday? Friday? I'm not sure. Can I get back to you? Sure, that's fine. Text me. Talk to you later. Two. Adam and Carol. Hello, Carol. It's Adam. I'm trying to get a hold of Brian. I'm afraid he's not here. Have you tried his cell phone? Yeah, I tried that first, but he's not answering. It's probably turned off. Oh, okay. Can you give him a message? Sure. 3. Emma, Donna, and Flora. I'm sorry. Brian's line's busy. Would you like to hold? Yes, please. It's ringing for you now. Thank you. Hello. Brian Doyle's office. Flora speaking. This is Emma Smith from Digby and Moss Associates. Oh, good morning, Ms. Smith. I'll put you through immediately. 4. Flora and Carol. Hi, Flora. Can I speak to Brian, please? Oh, I'm afraid he has someone with him right now. Is it urgent? Just tell him Carol called, and I'll see him tonight. Will do. I hope there isn't a problem. Number one. Who is speaking to who? Brian is speaking to Adam. Two. Are they on a landline or a cell phone? I think they are on a cell phone because I can hear some noises. Probably they are outside. 3. Where are they? Outside, somewhere out of their house or offices. 4. What are they talking about? Actually, one of them said that he can make it on Thursday. When you say I can make it, yani اون قراری رو که با هم گذاشته بودیم من بهش نمیرسم. در واقع میگه اون برنامه‌ای که پنج شنبه داشتیم و من نمیرسم انجام بدم. 5. How well do they know each other? They know each other pretty well because they have a plan with each other and they spoke friendly. Conversation 2. Who is speaking to who? Carol is speaking to Adam. Are they on a landline or a cell phone? They are on a landline. Where are they? She is at home, but Adam is probably at work. What are they talking about? Adam wants to talk to Brian, but can't find him. How well do they know each other? They know each other. Part 3. Question 1. Who is speaking to who? Emma, Donna, and Flora. 2. Are they on a landline or a cell phone? Landline. Where are they? Emma is at home. Donna and Flora must be at work. 4. What are they talking about? Emma wants to talk to Brian. 5. How well do they know each other? Actually, Emma is calling Brian's office. Flora is the receptionist and they are talking about work. They might know each other because they spoke friendly. Conversation 4. Who is speaking to who? Flora is speaking to Carol. Are they on a landline or a cell phone? They are on a landline. Where are they? They are at work. What are they talking about? She wants to speak to Brian. How well do they know each other? They know each other. Now listen to the conversations again and complete these sentences. Track 30 1. Brian and Adam Sorry, Brian. You're breaking up. I couldn't hear that. I know, Adam. It's not a good connection. 
But listen, I'm calling because I can't make it on Thursday. Are you free on Friday? Friday? I'm not sure. Can I get back to you? Sure, that's fine. Text me. Talk to you later. 2. Adam and Carol Hello, Carol. It's Adam. I'm trying to get a hold of Brian. I'm afraid he's not here. Have you tried his cell phone? Yeah, I tried that first, but he's not answering. It's probably turned off. Oh, okay. Can you give him a message? Sure. 3. Emma, Donna, and Flora I'm sorry. Brian's line's busy. Would you like to hold? Yes, please. It's ringing for you now. Thank you. Hello, Brian Doyle's office. Flora speaking. This is Emma Smith from Digby and Moss Associates. Oh, good morning, Ms. Smith. I'll put you through immediately. 4. Flora and Carol Hi, Flora. Can I speak to Brian, please? Oh, I'm afraid he has someone with him right now. Is it urgent? Just tell him Carol called, and I'll see him tonight. Will do. I hope there isn't a problem. Sorry, Brian. You're breaking up. I couldn't hear you. You're breaking up, yani sedat qato vaslimshe. I know, Adam. It's not a good connection. But listen, I'm calling because I can't make it on Thursday. Are you free on Friday? It's not a good connection, yani khat nemide. Inja ertibatam khub nist. I can't make it, yani nemirasam. Be qarar panjshanbe nemirasam. Friday? I'm not sure. Can I get back to you? Mitunam dobare be zain bezanam? Sure, that's fine. Text me. Talk to you later. Hello, Carol? It's Adam. I'm trying to get a hold of Brian. I'm trying to get a hold of someone. Yani daram say mikonam ke be kasi zang bezanam amma nemitunam paydash konam. I'm afraid he's not here. Have you tried his cell phone? Yeah, I tried that first, but he's not answering. It's probably turned off. Oh, okay. Can you give him a message? Sure. I'm sorry. Brian's line's busy. Would you like to hold? وقتی میگیم خطی بیزیه, line's busy, یعنی خطش مشغوله. Would you like to hold? یعنی میخواین خط رو نگه دارین? Yes, please. It's ringing for you. یعنی دیگه الان خط آزاد شده و داره زنگ میخوره. Thank you. Hello, Brian Doyle's office. Flora speaking. Flora speaking وقتی کسی به شما زنگ میزنه شما تلفن رو برمیدارید میتونید اسمتون و اسپیکینگ رو بگین که بگین من پشت خطم مثلا اگه کسی به من زنگ بزنه من تلفن رو برمیدارم میگم Hello, Matty speaking This is Emma Smith from Digby and Moss Associates برای معرفی کردن خودتون پای تلفن از This is استفاده میکنین Oh, good morning Mrs. Smith I'll put you through immediately I'll put you through یعنی من وصلتون میکنم Immediately یعنی بلا فاصله همین الان وصلتون میکنم Hi Flora, can I speak to Brian please? Oh, I'm afraid he has someone with him right now Is it urgent? Urgent یعنی ضروری کار ضروری دارین Just tell him Carol called and I'll see him tonight Will do I hope there isn't a problem حتما انجام میدم. Will do means I will do it. رسیدیم به پایین بخش سوم از درس دهم کتاب American Headway سطح دوم. بریم سراغ ویدیوی بعدی و تمرینات کتاب کار رو با هم حل کنیم.